hey y'all welcome back to the channel um sorry guys it's been a while been busy to be honest with life and just you know life so today we're back with the update on my pregnancy i am 15 weeks and three days today yeah so um of course i'm a little behind but it's okay my last update i believe it was from eight to 10 months or maybe 11 i said 10 months well eight to 11 weeks so cool i'm going to do an update from 12 weeks to 15. so let's talk about the 12th week the 12th week seemed pretty cool that's when around the time where i was not going to be throwing up at least i thought i wasn't that's with the little you know pregnancy apps and little side doctors and stuff like that will be saying hey this is a time where you should be feeling back to your natural self uh, and this is a time where you're not going to be puking you can open up your mouth wide and eat as much as you want so i took advantage of that thinking okay shoot they know what they're talking about of course not they're doctors they don't know shit so i'm thinking in my 12th week i'm ha 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 okay i can eat now i can eat ramen noodles now again i can eat baked beans i can eat veggie burgers and i was like no my baby does not like that at all um it's like i didn't get real heavy nauseous i didn't feel like you know when you're just sitting around like in the beginning of my eighth week you know i'm just sitting around i doing nothing then i get sick and throw up to the bathroom this was more like responding to the food where i would eat the meal before i eat the meal i feel good i'll eat a meal and yeah it'll get down i get to the last bite and once that last bite gets there the baby must knows it'll stay in the middle of my stomach and it'll come right back up so um unfortunately you know the throwing up has not stopped yet even up to now my 15th week i'm still like throwing up just because of certain food that's not sitting with me well and stuff which is cool you know i understand that the baby doesn't like everything i eat so but um yeah so the 12th week yeah it was that throwing up and i'm still tired didn't have that much energy still still being lazy i did try working out some more again like how i normally do before i got pregnant so that was a plus you know working out not working out as heavy, but just doing a little yoga. <laughs> what else happened that 12th week? Um, yeah, so we got throwing up. Still lazy, but still try working out. Hmm. I think that was pretty much it. By the time the 13th week came, I felt, like, pretty normal then. Granted, I was still tired. Um, I was up there partner with the baby with me i me and him <laughs> um we pretty much his birthday was october 19th so i was up celebrating that with him surprisingly i wasn't tired so and then my birthday was like two days later the 21st me and my sisters and we celebrated our birthday Ooh, Libra season. um yeah so we did that and i was up from like hmm I would say 10, maybe 11 o'clock, all the way up to 3 o'clock the next morning. Just dancing, twerking, just doing all stuff that a pregnant woman shouldn't be doing. But I wasn't, like, smoking or drinking anything crazy. Just having a good time, pretty much. But, yeah. So, yeah, my 13th week, I was doing that pretty much. Had my energy and stuff. I was still tired, but for those occasions, I had energy, and I was able to uphold it. Um... I noticed that I've been really hungry lately. Lately, I've been doubling my food intake extremely. Like, I feel bad for Isaac because I feel like I've been eating him out the house pretty much. <laughs> like, just eating everything here, and he doesn't mind, of course. But it's like, um, hello, Monique. You don't stay here by yourself. Sorry, y'all. Like my sides, like it be itching so bad, and I try so hard not to stretch it. Put shea butter on, but it's like, okay, put shea butter on, any type of lotion, whatever, it dries up, or it just settles in and it go away. But, um, back to the story, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've just been eating a lot, eating a lot, just double intake. I noticed my face got real fat and brown, like, I don't like how I look on camera anymore, but 
it is what it is. You guys, pretty, pretty sure you guys can see. I look tired always. And my hair is growing out crazy. Don't really know what to do with it because I never maintained, you know, short hair before. Always had hair, or at least a half a head hair. Or, you know, I had my locks, so. Hair has been looking crazy and stuff. Just been looking. I just been looking crazy. Other than that, my skin been perfect. Like I had a beautiful glow. I've been having glowing skin, so not complaining about that. You know, just waiting for that that long, luscious, curly, thick hair I have, and waiting for you know my hips to spread. I heard this little tale that your hips only spread when you're having a girl. And that only your front spreads when you're having a boy. So hopefully, hopefully that's not true. Cause um I don't know what I'm having yet. I, even though my app says that the baby sex is completed, I don't find out from the doctors until November twentieth or something. So this is a far way to go. It just takes so long. Let me get a water break. I'm not showing you the water because we don't sponsor D hoes. Been definitely dehydrated. I haven't been dehydrated, I wanna say per se, but I've been extra thirsty, so but it's cool. So let's fast forward to the fourteenth week. I felt like the twelfth and through the fourteenth week went through crazy fast because I can't really remember too much. Maybe because I was going through a lot around the time and then not only that, I wasn't internally phys um, and physically feeling anything that bad other than like throwing up and eating like being more hungry pretty much so can't really think of anything else different um but that's that's for right now to the 15th week hopefully if i skip 14 y'all don't worry about it because there's nothing really big happening <sighs> before i say this i had a bomb nap last night y'all i was on my phone and lay down the bed on netflix Strolling to find a movie, right? I'm strolling, strolling, strolling. And my eyes are like this. And I went to sleep, y'all. That was the best sleep I ever had. I ain't gonna lie. No cap. This whole week, that was like the best sleep I had. Like, I love naps now. But, yeah. Back to the epic. Oh, I've been craving to lo mein, lo mein, how you pronounce it? Lo mein noodles, like, OMG. I'm so grateful I was able to have some on my birthday. But that's all I've been wanting to eat is fucking lo mein noodles, y'all. So I'm trying to find a healthy vegan recipe version because I'm at the stage where I'm tired of eating, like, the kind of fast food, junk food. I haven't been eating fast food, but junk food like breads, cereal, baked beans, um, pancakes, veggie meats, stuff like that. I'm just trying to get over and stop that before I get further along in my pregnancy because I don't want the baby to have too much fake products in in the system so i'm trying to get back to my raw like right? eating like my greens and my um kale what is it um sprouts and bean um quinoa stuff like that fruits alkaline water all that good healthy stuff live foods you know um i'm trying to find a uh well i found one from mama earth medicines shout out to her follow her instagram and youtube channel and check out her website y'all she's I ain't an angel from from the universe. So, but yeah, I'm trying to find out some supplements I can take for me and the baby. And yeah, um, but yeah, my 15th week been okay. What I have noticed is when I was, when I'm trying to go to bed and stuff, I feel a lot of pain in my stomach and in my uterus area. Um, I use the bathroom a lot. I've been using the bathroom a lot since I hit my ninth week. So from my ninth week all the way to now I've just been going back and forth to the bathroom. And I thought maybe that wouldn't come later on to the pregnancy until I get bigger. But then again I had to think about my you know, my size. I am a small person so maybe that's just too much pressure anyway. Any like type of size is too much pressure for my uterus, so but yeah. So I <laughs> But um, yeah, I've been using the bathroom a lot, going through tissue rolls, like, Lord, help me. But um, yeah, I've been having pains in my stomach. I've been having pains in my uterus from the baby growing, I'm assuming, it's called round digging pain. But it's just not comfortable at all. Like, I don't like it. It's like, 
and my stomach is like a pulling like imagine your muscles are like sour and they're tight and they're being pulled it's, just, it's like that and then if I lay on my left side everything's cool you know but I'm gonna like I toss and turn my sleep I, I'm not used to sleeping on my side I like sleeping on my back I like sleeping on my stomach, but I haven't slept on my stomach. Uh, I sleep on my back, but then I have to be like, Mama, you got to get up. You can't sleep on your back. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. And I'll turn to my side. But um, my right side started off as comfortable, but lately it's been uncomfortable. Then I'd be worried because I don't know how the baby is laying inside me from the last sonogram. So I know the baby's like can move and stuff so it's like I don't know if, if I'm on my right side am I laying on the head is he okay well I, I just be overthinking it so I just be uncomfortable and then on top of that being uncomfortable and worrying you feel the pains as you sleep so it's just been hard for me to sleep in the beginning at least my 15 now I'm on three days and my body's been okay it's, it's, it's adapting to it so no complaints for real um yeah, so that's, you know, I'm only 15 weeks and three days, so I don't really have much of, of a big update as far as the 15th week. I'm still going through it. I do feel good. I had a 22-minute yoga session yesterday. I didn't give up. I didn't get tired. Break, I breathed through it. I breathed through it. And I feel really good. Um, I've been taking lots of baths with my little herbs. I'm going to get my herb pouches from OFL Creations 1111 off of SC.com. Or you can follow Slick Dot with the Wisdom on Instagram and click the link in my bio to purchase some. Also on Black Girls in Motion on Instagram as well. You guys can purchase some of our goods, body bath, um, herbal baths. Also, I'm losing breath. I've been <sighs> losing a lot of breath lately. It's hilarious to me. Like I do not think all the stuff they will say be happening will happen. But yeah, you guys can check out our websites and stuff. I will have the description and link down below. The link in the description down below. But yeah. That's pretty much it. You know, I don't have any complaints. don't have anything bad. I wasn't expecting anything bad. But just like. I don't have any big, big changes. Other than my size. So wait till y'all see this belly update. I'm about to get ready to show you guys now. So this is my stomach. Make sure you guys can see. Like a little acorn. <laughs> I noticed that my, um, this is it from the front. I noticed that my belly button is pushing out more. I had an any Audi swirl. I'm not sure you guys know what any Audi is, but you guys see it when I lift up my shirt. See, like right now, I'm feeling some pain right here. I don't know if that's the baby doing whatever he doing, but yeah. But yeah, this is it. My boobs grew. They ain't grow excess massively, but they definitely been growing. This is the stomach without it. My little acorn baby. I'm trying to work on my posture because I noticed that I lean I like to lean back because I'm not used to this weight. But I've been trying to Hug my posture. But this baby ooh from the side, guys. Actually, it looks pretty small on camera, which I'm, I'm glad because in person, drink looks huge. Like, this is all swollen. Um, and then my uterus all right here is swollen. It's hard and fat. It's just crazy. But yeah. This is him or her. I'm going to give you guys a keep going. I'm going to give you a whole 360. But yeah. So, Pizza is my bae. And also, Baby Lou is my bae. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos coming up. I am going to be on it as far as my updates. Um, Soon I will be having a video getting this house together. The house ready for babies. So I'm excited for that. I want to have a, um, what is it called? What's, what is it called? Somebody put it in the comment down below for me. Um, Where you have a one wall with like paint on it. Is that an absent wall or a 
something wall. I don't know. But I'm gonna have his wall or her wall painted one color to have all the baby stuff on there. It's gonna be so cute. So I can't wait to show you guys how that process goes. But yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Keep updated. Share this video, please, with your friends and family. Me and my sister is really, we're going to make it with this YouTube thing um, as far as vlogging and just sharing our life and just sharing information that we have as far as, like, you know, being young black entrepreneurs and young creators and just being the positive light, positive light that the universe and our generation really needs. So, peace and love. See you guys next time.